Good afternoon, it's uh, Friday, it's five o'clock and it's uh, beer and gear time. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about Montaigne sleeping bags and we're going to talk a little bit about beer. And we've got a belter tonight uh, coming at you from North Yorkshire Masham Black Sheep Ale. Now, I pretty much grew up on this beer, to be quite honest. Is that what yeah. your mum gave you? Yeah, bottle, pretty much for bottle, breakfast, bottle dinner and tea. I was bottle fed this stuff. <laughs> it's the only thing that cures the common cold. I once had flu and I had four pints of this. I woke up in the morning, I was fine. It was a dandy. What do you reckon? That's, yeah, that's good. I'm enjoying it. It's a real classic British ale. Um, most people that go uh, climbing or walking in England, north of England, will knock a few of these back when they're finished on the day. Black sheep, you can't go wrong with it. If you've not had it, try it. It'll put airs on your chest if you haven't already got them. Dan hasn't got any, so that's why he's drinking it. <laughs> Anyhow, Montaigne sleeping bags. Hey, uh, before, you, what about a shout out to our runners? Big weekend. Absolutely, yeah. Team further faster. Tomorrow morning, start the North Burn 100. Uh, Jacob and Jen. <sighs> It's going to be a big, big weekend for him. Uh, we'll be doing updates on Facebook throughout the weekend, see how the guys go. But, you know, best of luck to him. And best luck. of luck to everybody that's doing that, actually. If you can run 100 miles, I'll take my hat off to you, literally, because that's a hell of a bloody uh, outing, that's for sure. What do you reckon? Good luck, guys. Totally. Right. Montana sleeping bags. What do you want to know? What should we tell you? Let's tell you about them. They're down here. There's one down here. Right. First of all, we'll run through what's... You, what, what's the characteristics are to each bag, to be quite honest. Is that there's six bags in the range, they're all different, but Dan's going to run you through a few bits and pieces. Okay. <coughs> right, we'll, st we'll start on the back, first of all. Just a nice little feature on the back there, you've got little silicon sticky pads. All these little dots are, are help keep your bag in place on your mat at night. Right. Um, cool features, you know, the, the foot box is actually 3D, it's shaped to your feet. Um, <coughs> the same with with, it looks like a like a true mummy. Uh, same with the hood. Nice long zip. Open it up, and you've got pockets on the inside. You've got two different pockets, for example. It's a nice little feature there. And then there's a little zip pockets here. Keep your phone or your watch in there. Or earplugs. Or earplugs, yeah, <coughs> ready to go. And then what you would expect. So you've got a nice um, shoulder collar here, so you can snap that together with these snap presses and so you've got that your inside covers up your shoulders no heat's going to be coming out but if you are hanging out in your bag some miserable weather you can also unsnap that completely on both sides and fold that down out of the way while you're sat in your bag you've got nice soft fleece on the inside here mm. Ooh. and then what you would expect the ability to tighten down both the, the opening, so cinch that all up, as well as you've got one for the crown of your head too, so when you tighten it down, it's like wearing a jacket. It's even got a little peak hood on there, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, you've got obviously the baffles to keep every all the down in place, and side baffles as well. And a nice, nice baffle along the zip, so no heat's going out the zip. And it's got that hard tape too, so it makes it easy to close it without getting all caught up in it. Mm. And then another cool little feature is this. This glows in the dark, this little bit right there. So you can find, isn't that cool? <laughs> right, so that's a few features. So, okay. Including coming with its own dry stuff sack. Everything's got its own dry bag. So what I'm gonna do is basically, there's a six in the range, I'm briefly gonna go through the range for you. Um, okay, starting off at the bottom up with the lightest. Now, all these bags are made for a specific outing. So this is all about being super light. Um, this comes in at about 750 grams. It's called the Feather Light Bag, uh, as its name suggests, super lightweight, uh, summer bag. Uh, if you need a bag for maybe you need a mountain marathon or something like that, and it's kind of packed down tiny, this is definitely the bag for you. Uh, this has got down inside it. Um, a bit of a word about Montaigne Down as well, it's all RDS, which is Responsible Down Standard, which basically guarantees that it's a byproduct of the food chain, and it's not been live plucked um, to going a, a jacket or a bag for that reason. 
Uh, most of the decent manufacturers now are part of RDS. There's still a few dodgy ones out there, no names right now, but Montaigne, you know you're down, it's fine. You can check them out on Allied Feather Down. Yeah, check it, you can Allied Feather them down, yeah. You can even trace where your downs come from, actually, if you care to. So this is a Feather Light, 750 grams, really lightweight, packs down tiny. Uh, I think this is Pertex Quantum on this bag. Um, all the features that Dan went through, all your bottom things like that, but super lightweight, packs down minimal. Um, in terms of temperature rating, it's really a summer bag. You know, you probably want to put a line with it. I'll make sure you've got a decent mat if you're going down. Anything of plus five, I'd say, would be where, you, where your comfort's at. Next one. Now, definitely a favourite for me and definitely a decent bag for ANZ. This is the Prism bag. Now, the, the main difference here, this is synthetic. So this is using Primaloft Eco. Uh, the Prism a gear for Montaigne's a range of jackets, bags, boots. So it, obviously the first advantage if you're using Prim Primaloft, if it gets damp, it still retains its insulation. So, you know, if you're out in the NZ weather, and let's face it, it does rain a bit when you're out bush and, and you're tramping, this is a really good bag to use. Um, all the features that Dan went through, but synthetic. So that's a prism bag. What's comes the way at? Uh, comes at, oh wait, very good question off the top of my head, I can't remember actually. Uh, what's it say Dan? It says 1.216. 1.216, there you go. Uh, comes in black or the green there as well if you're after that um, green type colour. Uh, I won't drag any more down, I'll just show them off the bench here. Uh, then the rest of them are all down. So we've got the direct descent here. This is the tramping bag. Uh, this has gone back to your down again. This weighs about uh, just over a kilo. And that takes you down to zero degrees. So a classic down tramping bag. Again, packs down really small. Got all the features we've already been through. Really good. Then you start to go up a little bit. So this is the Alpinist. So obviously, this is more like winter tramping, winter ski touring, or something like that. Uh, you can start to get slightly, uh, still using Pertex, but it's harder wearing Pertex, Pertex on this bag as well. Weighs at, coming on that one at 1.2, and that's neg 5 for comfortable, neg 12 for extreme comfort, then also you can keep it to 5 at minus 21. But that last thing you don't want to play with anyhow, yeah. to be honest. Um, then there's this bag as well. Now, this is a minimus bag. Now this is very different because this is a completely waterproof. Uh, so Montaigne do a whole minimus range uh, of waterproof shells. So basically what you've got here is a fully taped shell uh, with down inside. So if you're out and you don't want to take a tent, you don't take a bivy, uh, this is a perfect bag. You can just, you know, take it out your pack, get in it, go to sleep, as it's known to Jess. And you know, weight's not bad for that as well, actually. That's uh, 850 grams all told. And, it to, and you don't need a tent and you don't need a bivy. No, exactly. It's That's perfect shield. Plus, you don't, you don't need to bother with it. <coughs> um, that or when you're in the tent and there's nice condensation all over it, you roll up against it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's if you want to dry. protect yourself, uh, you know, perfect. and you're a bit messy. That's cool. That's a great, and if, if you're drinking beer in your tent and you spill it on your bag, bingo, you're fine. So maybe you've got a bit of black sheep in your tent, it's not a problem, it'll roll straight off. Uh, that neck two is your comfort on that anyhow. And then we've got the, underneath here, we've got the DP, the one on the bottom, which is the real warm baby. So you're going somewhere where it's super cold, or something like that. Uh, it'll take you down to about neck 15 comfortably and way past that. Uh, obviously, it's down. Uh, it's everything you expect. You know, you know, in quite a a big bag. Weight-wise, though, it's still only 1.5 kilo, which is pretty good, and that'll keep you alive at neck 42, if you so desire. So that is the briefest of briefs on Montaigne sleeping bags. Um, so, like always, hopefully you're going to get out this weekend because it's a cracking weekend, and uh, enjoy Thanks, yourself Jamie. somewhere. Uh, and yeah, we'll tune in next week and we've got a special go live next saturday i believe from the arrowsmith race uh, which we uh, which the shop for the fast along cloud is proudly sponsoring so we'll do the beer o'clock review but we might have a special go live on saturday where yours truly will be trying to run again <laughs> <laughs> and by the way i came in just 10 minutes over the six and a half hours i said i would putting the modatapu well done but yeah have a great weekend cheers cheers <laughs>